I started playing wheelchair basketball, I think, four years ago. Um, I used to be a goalkeeper uh, with football. And uh, yeah, I wanted to do um, a wheelchair sport, and I think basketball was best for me. In 2003, Mark DeHaan's doctors told him they found a benign tumor on his spine. He was sent to surgery and the tumor was successfully removed, but post-op complications deteriorated his condition and left him semi-paralyzed. It doesn't really help you to stay upset about something going wrong. Uh, uh, it's um, a saying that you uh, have to uh, accept the things you cannot change and it takes a while. Dehand didn't use his condition as an excuse to let go of his passion for sports. He continued to play soccer and started playing wheelchair basketball. Today, at 33, the Jewish athlete is playing for the European title with the Dutch national team in the championship hosted in Afula. Is it a point of pride that, you know, despite being in a wheelchair, that you've managed to stay in shape probably better than you know, most people uh, around us? You know, do you uh, think about that sometimes? Uh, no, I don't compare myself to other people. I think in the Dutch team, uh, I think, I'm sure that in these, from these 12 players, uh, there are 11 players that are more capable than I am, better players than I am, more experienced and f also faster than I am. De Haan currently works as a presenter on Dutch radio and TV. And although he says he is not a Zionist, he has visited Israel more than a dozen times in the past with his family as a kid. De Haan's dream is for his team to qualify for the Paralympics. At first I never thought it would be possible to be a Paralympic athlete, um, but um, as soon as I got selected for the first time for the Dutch team, um, I went training more and I went to uh, training with the Dutch team every day uh, and I got better on it. I'm and I'm still improving. I, I have still a lot to learn. The Dutch team lost in a match against Turkey on Friday and will not be participating in the upcoming Paralympics. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.